All right, guys, we're going to have you hold those jerseys up right there, a little bit higher down than great. You're going to come in a little bit, Pete and John, every closer. We're going to look right here. Here we go. Okay. Um, five, and a uh, couple of seconds for video. You'll be looking at these cameras. Great. And now we're going to have uh, Devin with John and Pete real quick. Okay, hold that up a little higher. Great, perfect. And again for the cameras. Great, now we'll have Jackson come in. Hold that up a little bit higher for me. Great, looking right here. And for the TV. Thanks, guys. You got it, Dave. All right. Well, welcome on behalf on behalf of uh, Jody Allen and uh, the whole building here, the VMAC, and, and all the twelves all around the world. Uh, Pete and I want to congratulate. Jackson and Devin, and uh, welcome these two guys and their, their families to uh, Seattle, and uh, congratulations, guys. Thank Pete. you. Appreciate Thank it. You go. Way to go. Yeah, we're thrilled to get to this moment right here, and uh, it's your guys' moment, so let's have some fun with it and see what they got for us. Devin, you seemed so excited yesterday when you saw that Jackson was selected. How does it feel to have two Big Ten guys get to spend this time together now in Seattle? And, how did that conference prepare you? Both of you guys teams. How did that conference prepare you for this opportunity? Uh, it feel good um, knowing that two guys come from the same conference. Um, just the Big Ten, man, just prepare you for a lot of the hard weather games. You know the cold. Um, you just get to uh, really experience it all in that conference. So it just feel really good knowing that I got somebody who played in the same conference as me, um, and he know what it takes to win. So this one can be for either. I guess both of you. To, you prepare get drafted, the moment you walk into the Seahawks headquarters, what was that moment like for you? I mean, it was dope. Uh, like I said, I was able to take a visit here, so I already knew what it was. Uh, but yeah, it just, it's just kind of undescribable for real. It just, it's just a great city, so I'm glad to be here. Yeah, first time being in the city here with the fam. Um, beautiful facility, um, beautiful weather. You know, got the lake out there, so excited. You know, me and my family got to, you know, come out here. Jackson, you mentioned being able to learn from guys like DK and from Tyler. Yeah. Have you watched enough of them to know what things you would like to learn from Oh, them? no, not enough. Not enough at all. I'm excited to get in that room and, and learn and, and watch those guys. Um, you know, I know a little bit for sure what they do on the field and, you know, what they're about on the field. But I'm excited to, you know, be, be in the present um, with them and uh, get to work with them. Watched a lot of Philip growing up that, that you were trying to emulate in any way? Uh, no, ma'am. I mean, I watch a lot of ball. I'm a student of the game, and I, I love all, a lot of receivers, so I wouldn't say one uh, particular person. Jackson, the, the success that Garrett and Chris had coming in the league last year, does that give you like an increased level of confidence that you can hit the ground running too and have a, a big first year? Most definitely. It, it gives me confidence, but you know, at the end of the day, you got to prove it, and um, I'm excited to get to work and, and try to do that. Devin, Pete? talked yesterday about how impressed he was with the time he spent with you during the visit here. What do you remember about the conversations you guys had? Uh, just the way he he was able to just talk ball with me. You know, um, we went over a couple of press technique things. Um, just the way he broke it down to me. Just it's a lot. It's a lot of little things that add up to the big thing. So um, just the way he broke it down to me, the way I was able to learn. It was just I kind of picked up on it kind of quick. So, so you're saying you were really impressed with the meeting, huh? So <laughs> yeah. 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 Along the size of Pretty cool to have a head coach who's a DB guy. Like that's his background as coach and defensive back. Yeah, definitely. So I know I'm getting coached very hard. So, yeah. yep. Devin, how'd you go from someone who didn't start playing football until junior year to a top five pick? Uh, hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. What was that decision? You were going to be a basketball point guard. Was that your plan? And yeah. What, I, what changed your mind? I had hoop dreams. Now, nah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, I wanted to be on that court. Um, but my mom convinced me to come out. So ever since that day, I just never looked back for real. She, you, she just said you should go play football, or what was the track? Yeah, she wanted me to go play football again, so 
<laughs> she just went, just one more Good year. Good for mom. Nice call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so without her, I, without her, I won't be here. So. And then it, you were already enrolled at a junior college in Illinois, King Collin, or how did that happen? Uh, yeah, I was in summer classes, but um, I was uh, I ended up passing my SAT score, so I was eligible to go to a four-year school. So that's how I was able to leave. And it was an assistant coach who was from the Panhandle. Is that how you got to Illinois? Uh, well, really, it was with my coach from high school, Coach Vanderford. Um, he really helped me set everything up to be able to talk to other college coaches. So without him, I kind of wouldn't be here. <laughs> and, and I'm sure you've been asked about your weight and size all this all your life. But how much did you weigh entering Illinois? Uh, like 159. How much is that a chip on your shoulder, the size and everyone saying your weight and this and that? I mean, like, I never really cared for it, man. At the end of the day, we got to go out there and play football. So no matter the biggest or smallest, like, we all got to go do the same thing. So. At what point, though, did you realize you approached this game a little different maybe than other quarterbacks, regardless of size, just your decision-making and aggressiveness? I mean... I don't know. I never really kind of like just noticed that, but um, I just try to go out there and play football. Just play the way, play the game the way I like to play it. So. You wore number thirty-one in college. Was there a reason for number thirty-one? Uh, nah. Uh, <laughs> it was just uh, that was the first number that they gave me. So um, my coach used to always tell me like in the league they don't call you by your name, they call you by your number. So thirty-one, like it, I kept hearing it over and over and over again. So I just kept, I just stuck with it. Because you, you, I've seen comparisons to you and Cam Chancellor and the way you played. So I just didn't know if there was. Uh... <laughs> Any, any thought behind that at all? Nah, I don't know thought. Questions for both of you guys. You know, this franchise making the playoffs last year appears poised to make another one for this year. What does it mean to be a part of that next step for this franchise? Uh, it's cool. It's cool. Um, it's exciting. You know, um, they had a great season last year, so hopefully, you know, we can come in and, you know, push this thing for, uh, forward a, a little bit more. So excited for the opportunity. Uh, it's good, you know, um, knowing that they have a winning culture here. Just come in and try to impact the team the best way we can. Um, they know what it takes. Uh, the tradition here is just great. So um, we're trying to come over here and just build on that and just take it, even take it even further. So, Devin, Coach Carroll talked about your basketball background a little bit yesterday. How did that help you ease your transition into football, being that you got started later than a lot of players do? I mean, basketball is just the competitiveness, for real. Uh, that and just being able to move lateral. Uh, lateral quickness on the court. I mean, that just kind of translates over into corner because um, you got to have lateral quickness at corner. So it kind of it, it kind of fell into it pretty easy. Jackson, Pete and John both talked yesterday about your pro day workout and that being important to, to see you. Given the injury during the season, how important in your head was it to be able to put on a show there for the for teams? Oh, always important. I mean, was looking forward to that day for a long time. So I was happy, you know, I was healthy and, and got to go out there and, and showcase the, my skill set. Um, it was a good day. Um, Always loved being back at Old State and and throwing the ball around with my boys. So um, I'm glad it was a good day. Glad I looked good. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Me too. Jackson, Jackson, did uh, you talk with Tyreek Smith at all last night about this place and uh, him being a draftee here last year to get to a feel what you're coming into? Yeah, I haven't had a full depth conversation, but I love Tyreek Smith, man. Uh, um, brought me in when I was a youngin in Ohio State, and um, loved him ever since. Uh, he texted me, you know, congrats, but I'm sure we'll catch up, you know, here pretty soon. How, how, how tough was last year, just kind of having to, you know, go through all that and not be able to play and everything? Yeah, toughest thing I had to go through as an athlete, but, um, you know, leaned on my family. My family was here for me and, you know, learned a lot about myself and, and my love for the game. So um, I'm appreciative. Um, I appreciate that moment um, because, you know, it's only up from here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talk to Gino a little bit. I'm sure I'll catch up with him uh, later too. But excited to work with him. You know, great arm talent, a great skill set. I'm ready to get in the room and, and pick his brain for sure. Pete and John, when it comes to the path that both of these guys took, Jackson's talking about last year, the adversity being a, something he appreciated. And then you've got Devin, who didn't start playing football. How much does that play into the evaluation and what you are getting as a person as well as a player? Yeah, well, I, I think uh, there's nothing like having that, that chip, you know, that you got something to prove uh, to bring out the best. And, and both of these guys have the makeup of, of the real competitive mentality and, and, you know, how much we love that around here. And, that, you know, that's kind of what I was fired up about both these guys. I and mean, I, I talked a little bit about last night about Devin, that you can sense that there's a special connection that they got something to prove. 
And our best guys that we've always had here, whether they were draft picks or free agents or wherever they came from, there was a makeup to them that, that separated them from others. And, and everybody's competitive at this level. But some guys just feel it a little differently than others. And, and I think both these young men are going to show you what it means to them and then how important it is for them to find their way to make their spot here and, and you know make the position that they fill and the role that they get to play you know, really obvious. And that's, that's it's, it, I'm really fired up about it because you all know how I always talk about it. And all these guys are really the real deal. So um, it's a huge part of their, their makeup and their value and all of that. And it's going to be part of their success story, too. But you guys, what are their tells? <laughs> you get a short time with them in pre draft visits and investigate. What are the tells that you know a, a guy might have a competitive Have you watched his highlight film? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, that's where it starts. You know, you get to see the play. And, and then I'm, that, you know, he would note to you that I'm, I'm asking questions about why he did what he did on the plays that, that stood out and where was his, you know, where was his vision and his, you know, insights into those moments and stuff because I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. And uh, he, I'm talking about Devin in particular right now, that he had a real, uh, a real clear path to understanding of what, why he's taking the shots that he takes and why he's willing to go beyond where other players will go and, and that have separated him in this draft as a player and a performer and a big play guy. And, and, uh, and, I, and I, you know, just I'm always looking for that. And, and so when it just hit, hit right, he answered the questions just right and, and aced the test. And, and it was obvious to me that we had a guy that was really special and, you know, and we were just hoping we would be able to you know, reconnect. And so I um, very, feel very fortunate that it worked out. Would you guys both mind giving us a rundown of who you have with you here? Yeah. I have my mother. How you doing? Her <laughs> boyfriend, Brian. <laughs> um, my dad. Uh, I have my mom in the uh, seats right there, uh, my niece, my brother, uh, my sister, and my other nieces here as well. Yeah. Awesome. Anything else? We good? That's easy. That's easy, yeah? Cool. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Love to see you.